we're going to look at indefinite integrals and the way I'm going to introduce this is just to uh, compute the two examples given on the specification. So the first one is the integral from 0 up to infinity of e to the minus x dx and this is an indefinite integral because one of the limits is infinity and whenever that happens, infinity or minus infinity, then um, we, it's an indefinite integral. The other case which we'll look at in a minute is when the function that we're integrating isn't actually um, valid at one of the points, okay, or, or at a point um, in between the integral, but we don't have that case just yet. But I will explain how to do that, but we don't have an example for that. So we, we compute this integral instead as the limit as a tends to infinity, we can call a whatever we want, I'll just come for a, um, from a, or from 0 to a, of e to the minus x, and then we just solve this integral. So now this is equal to the limit as a tends to infinity of minus e to the minus x from a to naught well that's equal then to the limit as a tends to infinity of and then we just uh, substitute in a and zero so that's minus e to the minus a here and then that, that is plus uh, e to the minus zero is just one so and then this has no a dependent so this is just one so this is just equal to the limit as a tends to infinity of what well, minus the limit as a tends to infinity of e to the minus a and then just plus one uh, this is just zero okay so our answer is just one and why is that zero because remember e to the minus a is like one over e to the a and e to the a is a tends to infinity goes off to infinity, so 1 over um, e to the a goes to 0. Okay, that's our first example. The second example we are going to look at is the example the integral from 0 up to 2 of 1 over the square root of x. You can see that if you plug in uh, 0 to this function, it's not well defined, so this is an improper integral. So we do a very similar technique. I'm just going to call this one b, but we could call it a. The limit as b tends to 0 from 2 to b. So the technique's exactly the same. And then I'm just going to write this as x to the minus a half, because that makes it easier to integrate. Uh, it's exactly the same thing, just easier to see what the, the value is. Um, that's equal to the limit as b tends to naught of uh, so we add one to the power here so we get a half and then we divide by our new power so dividing by a half gives us two uh, x to the half and that's two to b so that's equal to the limit as b tends to naught of so plugging in 2, we get 2 to the 3 over 2, and then we get minus 2b to the power of a half. And of course, as, as b tends to 0, uh, well that has no effect on this term here, but b to the half tends to 0, because that's the square root of b, so this is just equal to 2 to three, the power of 3 over 2. Those are two simple examples. I'll make some comments on some other things that can happen. Sometimes the limit does not exist. In that case, that is fine. That's a legitimate answer. You just have to, you just have to reason that the limit doesn't exist. So, well, uh, well, it doesn't um, come to a real number at least. Okay, then we say the limit doesn't exist. So, say our integration ended up as the limit as c tends to infinity of, you know, say e to the x plus 1. Well, e to the x goes off to infinity, so we just say the indefinite integral doesn't exist, okay? So that's 
that's an example um, of that. The other example might be, let me try, think of one. Uh, well, yeah, we'll just do the same example as before. So if we do the integral from, say, 2 to minus 1 of 1 over the square root of x, well, now 0 is not one of our limits, but 0 is between these two limit values. So what we have to do is we have to split this integral at that point. Okay, so if you notice this case, if you notice that a value between uh, two integrals is not defined for the function we're integrating, and then you have to do plus 0 to minus 1. Okay, and then again, you'd write this as, so we'll just come over here, we'd write this as uh, the limit as b tends to naught from 2 to b, 1 over root x, uh, plus the limit as b tends to naught b minus 1, 1 over root x dx. Of course you could just write this limit uh, and then bracket all that up and rub that out, but yeah, you get the point, okay? So that's what you, that's how you deal with that situation. But other than that, the calculation is just the same, just perhaps a little bit uh, longer. Uh, one final case that you might get actually is perhaps an integral of some function from infinity to minus infinity. And of course, this is indefinite on both ends. Okay, so uh, and it doesn't have to be infinity minus infinity. I'm talking about when both limit points don't work, and you would want to write this as uh, well. I, I think the easiest way to do it would be to go a naught f of x dx plus naught b f of x dx. And then you obviously send a to infinity and b to minus infinity. And just check it like that. So yeah, a little bit of problem solving involved. Most cases will be like the ones I showed you in the examples, and perhaps uh, they're splitting it into different uh, sections. But other than that, uh, this isn't too much of a complicated topic. If you can integrate, it's just a little bit of uh, reasoning on on top of. Um, your integration at the end all right so if you do have any questions about this because it might be a little bit difficult to get your head around then please be sure to let me know down in the comments uh, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to like and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one